What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, and make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. Now for this video, we are going to be jumping into Batman Detective Comics, issue number 1040. And if you haven't been keeping up with Detective Comics, go ahead and check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on in this line. Now, this is written by Mariko Tamaki. The artist is one of my favorites being Dan Mora. The colors are Jordi Belair. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. All right, guys, so as we dive into this issue, there's been a lot going on. But most notably, Bruce Wayne is turning himself into the GCPD. He's doing this because right now the police are looking for him. They want to question him about the death of, of Mr. Worth's daughter. The only thing about that is Mr. Worth ended up blowing up the last police department he was in. And now technically being a, a fugitive, not necessarily wanted, but he did quote unquote escape custody. And to avoid any kind of craziness, he's like, I'm just going to go turn myself in. I can't have everybody looking for Bruce Wayne and Batman. I need one of my, one of my alter egos goes to not be hunted at least by the GCPD because as it is Mr. Worth is hunting both Bruce Wayne and Batman he wants both of them dead and blames both of them for the death of his daughter and so Bruce Wayne turns himself in and they throw him into the drunk tank being a Friday night it's more than likely he's not going to get released until Sunday and so while he is sitting in here he has Oracle working on the outside, doing her best to try to clear Bruce Wayne's name. More or less, she's going to do the police work for the police. Gonna send all the information over to them, that way they can release him as quickly as possible. Because the longer Bruce Wayne is sitting in jail, the longer Batman is left exposed on the outside. And I mean that by his enemies being able to plot behind him and him not know exactly what is going on. And Oracle, she goes ahead and she checks on the secretary and she checks on Huntress. Because Vile, that, that ridiculous looking freaking monster, infected them. But it appears that the infection has been cured from them. Both of them no longer are showing traces of it in their blood in their bloodstream. And as soon as Huntress has healed up, she has already made her way out the window. And we don't even see her in this comic. They just talk about her and how she disappeared quickly. And it appears that in Secret Files, Huntress is where her story is going to continue on. And while all of this is going on, Bruce Wayne is just sitting in the drunk tank. As he sits in this tank, a very, very drunk individual starts talking to him. Telling him that he knows that he is Bruce Wayne. That he also knows that he is Batman. And this throws Bruce for a second. You know, this is a random encounter with some random guy in a drunk tank who is completely blitzed out of his mind. How the hell did this guy make that connection? And he asks him, like, how, how did you come to that? And he lets us know that five years ago, maybe some more years ago, he's pretty drunk, so the story is going to be, you know, hit or miss on, on exact details. But he was working entertainment. And one night he decided... After work, he was going to drink some alcohol. He was getting himself nice and drunk. And in the midst of this, this is where Batman and the Joker come flying in in the middle of one of their battles. You know, just regular Gotham stuff. Another, another night in Gotham City. But while these two are completely dueling it out, he makes a run for it. He doesn't know where to go. He runs outside and tries grabbing onto the ladder to the side of the building. Jumping up into the fire escape, he makes his way up to the roof. And as he hides up on the roof, he hears Batman and the Joker having their brawl. Being completely exhausted from trying to run away and get up that fire escape, he's dang near passed out right now. But he hears the fighting stop, and he listens. He hears nothing but silence, and then he hears the boots. He hears Boots walking on the rooftop, and as he sits up to look, assuming that he had been found, this is where he sees Batman standing on the ledge of a building, and he could not believe it. It was Batman, flesh and blood standing right before him, and he had to, had to assume that Batman saw him. He knew he was there, but after a couple of seconds, he realizes Batman doesn't see him there, because Batman is preoccupied having something stuck in his eye. And with him taking off his mask just for that brief second, 
to remove the debris from his eye, this individual saw Batman. He saw who Batman was. He finally saw that it was Bruce Wayne. Now, Bruce asked him, like, are you sure about that? Like, are you sure that's actually what you saw? And the man's like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, it could be. But this is Gotham City. So who knows what I actually saw? But to him, it kind of makes sense. You know, it kind of makes sense that Bruce Wayne is the Batman. You know, he's read in the papers how horrible things happen to Bruce Wayne. And he seems like the kind of guy who would make it that those horrible things keep happening to him. At least that's how he sees it. But that's when our drunk man, he just completely passes out. And Batman is overhearing a conversation. This conversation going on between one of the detectives and Penguin. Oswald Cobblepot currently in the Iceberg Lounge. He contacted this detective to find out exactly where Bruce Wayne is currently living. Not the Wayne Manor, but his new location. Because after they eat some food, he has every intention to burn that place down. And that's when we pick up Monday. We pick up with the drunk man waking up and having no recollection of the conversation he had with Bruce Wayne. Having no recollection of who Bruce Wayne is. Having no recollection of remembering that Batman is Bruce Wayne. His drunken state brought out that subconscious memory when he saw Bruce Wayne. But now that he is sobered up, that memory has far but fleeted. But now Bruce Wayne's name has been cleared. With his name being cleared, they allow him to leave here. And as he gathers all of his things, he realizes that his phone is dead. And across town, there is a fire currently burning. But before we get to that fire, we're taken to Gotham City Shipyard where Mr. Worth is partnering up with Penguin. Now, I know some of you have been asking, where the freak is Penguin in all of this? Well, here he is. Been waiting for his chance in the shadows, now seeing the opportunity to take down Batman with the help of Mr. Worth. Now, Penguin lets him know that Vile is still alive. He may not be completely coherent, but he is alive enough. Alive enough that their plan and their agreement is going to continue to move forward. That Bruce Wayne will die. And while all of them are having this conversation, Bruce Wayne has arrived at his home. Only to see that it is completely engulfed in flames. But this is just another day in Gotham City as an old lady walks by and she makes that comment. You know, because this is nothing new. Gotham City is full of terrors and fires and monsters. So seeing a building burning and not really caring about it, it is just a common day occurrence in Gotham City. And Penguin lets us know that this is all part of the plan to be able to take out Bruce Wayne. Because Bruce Wayne, while he may be Mr. Worst's main target, they have to do this effectively. They have to cut off Bruce Wayne's protection. That protection being Batman. And the only way to cut off that protection is to kill Batman. And so that stands as their first priority. So after they have killed Batman, after Mr. Worth has helped him with that, then they will go after Bruce Wayne. And they are going to use Vile to be able to kill Batman. Having him hooked up to some kind of medical machines, barely staying in the living. Whatever parasite is inside of him, Penguin has plans to use this to be able to take down Batman. And with that, he says, the jury has spoken. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. There wasn't a whole lot going on in this one. Uh, this was more of a filler, kind of a buildup of the, the main story that's about to hit us. Really just, you know, the, the, the chess pieces moving on the board. Getting ready to make their attack. Bruce Wayne having to clear his name, but in doing so... It gave his enemies the upper hand. It gave them the opportunity to move their chess pieces into the right places. And now with Huntress completely in the wind, it is just Batman and Oracle working on this together. And I am very interested on how they're going to use Vile against Batman. Maybe they're going to attempt to have Vile take him over, but we can only assume that Batman's going to be prepared for something like that. Maybe they're going to try to harvest the parasite out in some way. Who knows what will actually happen? I I'm very curious to see 
how this story is going to unfold. Let me know what you guys think. How do you think they're going to use Vile? How they're going to use the Parasite against Batman? And if you haven't yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. And until the next breakdown.